For this week's lessons on arrays, it's going to be a lot easier if we have something at home that we have a lot of that we can count. So I'm going to use an example here with my counters. Now, if you don't have counters at home, all you need is something you have that you can count. So you could use candies, you could use markers, you could even use something like pasta, or if you have seeds or dice, anything at home that you can count. So when we're doing the questions uh, on the video, if it says I have a group of 12, you'll take your counters and you'll make a group of 12 or a line of 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I'll have, oh, get them a bit closer together. I'll have my group of 12. Then if I say, how many groups of two can I make? I'll put all the rest of my counters away. I'll just use these 12 and I'll see how many groups of two I can make. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many groups have I made of two? Six. Two, 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 two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups of two. If I have my 12 counters and I want to make a group of four, how many groups of four can I make? So I'll put four, four, and four. How many groups of four do I have? One, two, three three groups of four. So when we're doing these questions all week, if you have something that will help you to count, I really, really suggest that you use those.